Hello, I'm Darren the Magic Ghostbuster. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and check out all my Ghostbusters themed magic videos. Now, recently, I ended up with two of these official Ghostbusters watches. They were made by a company called u in 2012. Now, it has a really basic uh, black strap and a picture of Slimer on the watch face. Now, since I ended up with two, I've decided to keep one in the box, and I've taken an old strap, and I've made my own custom one. So let's uh, check it out. Okay, so I recently got this uh, Ghostbusters watch uh, from eBay. Um, at the time of recording, um, there's one seller in the UK with these. They're selling them for £5 plus, uh, I can't remember what the postage was now, about £3, I think. Um, they've got, still got quite a lot in stock. So um, if, if you like this watch, I recommend uh, jumping on it before they sell out. Um, but there it is. Um, as you can see, it's got a nice image of a Slimer in the middle. Um, but the thing I don't like about it is the strap. I'm not a fan of thin straps. I like fixed straps So that's what we're going to change and I'm going to make a custom one on this um, now Luckily um, the batteries that it Came with still work, but it's very easy to change the batteries. I'll just show you I'm not sure what it's going to show on the camera But there's a little uh, bit there and if you just get a sharp knife and get that in there back just pops off and uh, you all pull that out and the battery goes in there so very easy to change the batteries you don't have to spend a fortune getting that done but anyway so on to the strap that I'm going to add now um so I'm a fan of um, thicker straps and um, there's a brand of watches I used to like uh, a company called Fossil and they used to do um, these things in their shops where you could pick your strap and your watch face. Um, unfortunately, they don't seem to do the fixed straps anymore, but I used to love them. Um, and this one I've probably had uh, at least 10 years, probably longer actually. Um, unfortunately, part of it broke uh, a couple of years ago, but um, just couldn't bring myself to get rid of it. But I did manage to find a new strap on eBay, different design, but a nice fixed strap. So I thought I'd use this for this new watch. So what I've done is I've stitched that back together there, which looks a bit rough. Um, I'm going for a rough look. I'm going to actually cover that up with a slime effect. Um, I've ordered some uh, green hot glue for that. But the idea is I'm going to give this watch a caution striping look. So I've bought some yellow spray paint and I'm just going to mask it off now. Um, so I used standard masking tape, um, but what I've done is I've actually trimmed a centimeter off of it um, using a cutting mat and a sharp knife. So. Basically, that's what I'm going to do. Just mask it off. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm going to lay a bit across there, which is where the black stripes are going to be. But that's just going to be. I'm not going to push that down too much. It's just as a guide really so that all the stripes are even and then this will be a yellow one and then once it's on there I'll take this off you will see these um, metal parts um, it's gonna be a bit of a faff covering all those properly I think so what I'll probably do is I'll probably um, I'm thinking of just scratching the paint off once I uh, paint it. I don't think we'll take too long. have it all masked off how I want it. Um, I've put loads of masking tape on the bottom as well just to protect the, the bottom, the part that's going to come in contact with the skin even though I'm not spraying that from that direction it's just to stop any little bits getting in there hopefully. So the next stage is I'm just going to place that in a, an old Amazon box and uh, just give it a few sprays. And um, before we do that, I just want to point out, I have gone over these black bits which are the bits where obviously the paint is going to uh, attach to, we, um, just rubbed it a little bit with some sandpaper just to hope that it helps the paint take a bit better. Okay, so I have uh, sprayed the yellow spray paint on it and um, I've started taking some sandpaper and just 
giving it a little rub basically just to uh, take away a bit of the shine and a little bit of the yellow paint on the bits where it's actually uh, attached to the watch because I just want to have a bit of a worn look. I don't want it to look pristine. Um, so I want bits of black coming through. That is the look I'm going for. Obviously you might want to, uh, if you're going to do this, you might want a more pristine look. And what I'll do is, that's still actually a little bit tacky there, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take away the masking tape now. So the um, yellow paint's a little tacky in a couple of areas, so I'm going to let that dry a bit more. But before I do, I'm going to take a bit of silver paint, which I've only had silver spray paint, so I've just sprayed uh, some of that onto a bit of tin foil, and I'm just going to add some silver to some of the edges, uh, just to add to that sort of worn Ghostbusters style look. I think that's enough for now, it looks suitably worn, um, so I'm going, to, I'm going to let this um, dry properly and then uh, give it a bit of a sand and then maybe do a couple more silver highlights. Okay, so it's been about a week and my uh, green hot glue has finally arrived. Um, so just uh, one thing, um, once I've sanded all this down I did give it a good uh, clean with some polish just to get bits, rid of any bits of uh, dust and paint and that sort of stuff and then um, just basically hung it on a door handle because it did smell of paint quite a bit so um, and that smell has gone now so um, basically I'm just gonna do a few splodges of the green hot glue uh, just to create a slime effect and the uh, main bit I want to do is here just to strengthen this bit where it had broke so I've got my glue in the gun and So this doesn't have to be neat because we are going for a slime effect. So there we go. So that, that will hopefully strengthen that bit. I'm just going to do a few splodges in various bits. So that, let's try a bit here. The watch is going to go there, so there's no point putting any there. Let's put a little bit on the end here. Maybe a tiny bit there. So I'm not going to go too overboard with it. Um, 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 yeah, let's put, let's put a tiny bit there. Just I'm not sure if you're gonna, we're going to see any of that once the watch face goes on, but why not? Put a little bit. Yeah. <clears throat> I shouldn't have done that, that was silly. Uh, okay, what I'll do is I'll let that dry quickly and then uh, I'll put the watch face on, see how it looks and decide if to put a bit more on or not. So we're back, uh, all this glue has dried now and I'm pretty happy with that, um, definitely feels stronger there. And let's put the, uh, the watch face on. So on this watch it's pretty easy, these just pull up.
And there we go. That is the uh, watch pretty much done. I, uh, looking at it with the watch face on, I don't feel like it needs any more slime. I think that's enough. Um, I don't want to go too overboard with it. Let's just put it on just to see how it looks. There we go, I'm, pr I'm pretty happy with that. I'm happy with how that has come out. And like I said, I don't think I'd any more slime. I don't think it's necessary. Um, so let me know what you think. Um, I'm a fan of upcycling old stuff, really. Um, like some of my favorite jeans uh, wore out years ago. I've done, I um, added like a Frankenstein effect to them just because I didn't want to get rid of them and they come out really good, or I did thought so anyway but um yeah i'm happy with how this come out so let me know what you think um if you have one of these watches would you put your own strap on it or change the strap um yeah let me know what you think and i'll see you in the next video until then keep on busting